Hey, Bobby Manning here. Garn Report at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. It's Bobby Sherrard Blakely here with me. And we got some news seconds before tip-off yes. that Dennis Schroeder is going to be joining the Celtics. We talked so much about it the last few days that I almost started thinking that this was just conversations going on in the backdrop. We did a segment the other day, and that's what John seemed to think, is that this is just agent stuff, this is just team posturing, and then they got a deal done on a price, one year, $5.9 million, that it's hard to hate. It's, it's hard to hate because uh, it's such a ridiculously below-market value deal for a player who's so who's so much better than that number. But the one thing a lot of us were working under the assumption was that that there was a, a deal that was just kind of on the table for him that would maybe wouldn't be 20 million, but it would certainly be significant enough to where the weight was worth it for him. And clearly, that just wasn't the case. They never had the type of deal in place that would be to the liking of Dennis Schroeder. And when you think about him turning down 84 million dollars i mean it's 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 a horrible just I, I can't imagine what he's feeling right now knowing the kind of money that he left on the table no and you you hear different things about whether that was a hard offer or whether they were just going back and forth with numbers at that point but there was a sense that Schroeder was really betting on himself mm -hmm. and was gonna think that he was kill killing it in this market you know you didn't have a ton of high profile free agents Kyle Lowry caught some fire Mike Conley made a good amount of money Chris Paul got the then you had Lonzo deal. Ball out there so that's once Ball got that offer from Chicago that's when it felt like things really dried up Dallas kept everybody and the Celtics were able to swoop in here and address a big need I felt like so people are going to talk about the character concerns with Schroeder, the different teams that he's bounced around to. But at the end of the day, this is a passer, defender, and at times in his career, a scorer who was second in sixth man of the year a couple years ago. There's some upside here at $5 million that you really like. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that certainly, from a basketball standpoint, can definitely be an, an, an asset for the Celtics. But some of the concerns about how well he's going to fit in with his teammates, uh, can he handle coming off the bench if, you know, he may decides to go that route, which is a possibility. I don't think it'll happen, but it, it's a possibility. Will he fit in with the culture that this organization has kind of set in place under Brad's leadership, going from the coaching uh, box to you know front office? I don't have the answer to that, and I don't think the Celtics do either. And I think that's what makes this deal look very good on paper, but the actual on the court man, you know, just navigating all that. I don't. I just don't have a good feel for how this is going to play out because. The good thing about him is that he can be an incredibly pestering, annoying, get under your skin type of guy. Unfortunately, we're not talking about just his opponents. We're also talking oh. about his teammates too. And that to me is going to be interesting. But I will say this though, and we haven't really talked much about it. Al Horford presence may be the key to making this all work with his familiarity with Dennis when they were both in Atlanta. So there's there's a possibility that this could work. And, and Al, who was brought back in part because of his leadership, may be put to the test with this new addition. I'm interested to see how that backcourt shapes up. You have three guys, Josh Richardson, Schroeder, and Marcus Smart, who defend, move the ball, struggle to shoot, can finish a little bit. They almost, in some ways, look like three of the same players. Yeah, which like your replicators. Yeah, which definitely. can be good and bad. You know, you have good defense at both the guard spots no matter who you're playing this year but in terms of starting lineup which two of those guys looks the best to you together right well then you've got to throw in Josh Richardson who I, I think is someone who's going to play some facilitation uh, role as well I, I think at the end of the day you're going to go with Marcus and I think you're going to see a lot of shooter those two I think are going to be the primary ball handlers because Mark because surprise surprise they're both in contract years mm -hmm. so I think both players understand the importance of amplifying whatever they do well. And Marcus, we know that's defense. Schroeder, I think it's just been doing a little bit of everything. And defensively specifically, being able to get under guys' skins. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how him and Marcus Smart can play together. You're obviously taking a hit in terms of scoring when you have those both on the floor. But what you're getting defensively, I think, should be able to make up for that more times than not. And you know, just listen to Ime earlier talk about just his expectations for the season. Defense. Playmaking; Those seem to be the two themes that he was really trying to emphasize. And those two guys are going to be part of that process. 
It was a weird off season. All the moves came either way before free agency or in this case way after. But Horford, Richardson, and now Dennis Schroeder, those are the veterans that Udoka and Brad Stevens wanted to, you know, fill in and it stagger some of those young guy minutes with guys who have proven it in this league and I think that's what they've done here. We'll be here all week. A Sherrod Blakely, Bobby Manning talking about the Celtics offseason, uh, more developments on the active roster, as well as the young guys who are playing here in our other video that we're doing here tonight. So stay tuned to CLNS Media, Celtics All Access. Oh,